All right. So now let's move on to the next segment of this interview, which is uh, one of the most hottest topics that almost everyone is talking about, which is artificial intelligence or AI. And so, as you know, AI is transforming a lot of the roles across marketing. And we've been seeing that in the last couple of months. Um, now, what I'd like to understand over here is in, in what ways have you seen AI improve the collaboration between product marketing and customer success? And where do you think AI adds the most value in this space? Absolutely. So I'll show you um, a little bit about two functions, right? One is thinking about how it plays a role in the marketing organization itself. Um, a lot of, um, I've leveraged ChatGPT uh, through this past year to help me be a better product marketer, but it's also what I got to do in terms of helping support the cross-functional parts of marketing. Um, and I'll draw a similar parallel to customer success in a bit. As product marketing, right, we are helping drive the go-to-market. We are helping with our messaging, positioning, our value proposition, our campaigns, our launchers, our enablement, our customer advocacy, right? These are all part of that. And as part of that customer advocacy, you're working very closely with that customer success team. So if I'm thinking about uh, the team that is cross-functional, it's product marketing and within corporate communications, you have a team called customer marketing. So I've had the fortune to work with amazing folks that have been part of those teams where we are identifying the right customers. We are thinking about uh, references. We are thinking about case studies, testimonials, videos, whatever it is that can drive that customer advocacy, right? Um, a lot of the work that we do, doesn't matter how awesome we are, doesn't matter how awesome the company is, how great the product is. If you hear it from the voice of the customer, it's amplified, right? There's a data point and stat that says over 78% of B2B um, customers or buyers, they're looking for proof points. They're looking for, have they done this in my industry? Have they done this in my use case? And if we don't have those use cases, then it doesn't matter what the product can or cannot do, right? So I've, that's one of the reasons why I drove the thought leadership aspects of our webinar series for data warehouse and analytics, because we realized there's a lot we are doing as a company, leveraging AI, leveraging some of these things. Um, one of the use cases actually for the next month one was our HR bot, right? So we were bringing AI into the conversation, but also realizing that how our customers want to interact with us has shifted. Nobody wants to read a 50 page document. Nobody wants to be told what to do. They want to ask a question and get the answer right away, not wait for two days or one week to get the response. That shift in speed and agility led to some of these conversations as part of that customer advocacy. So I've leveraged AI to help me with my content writing. How do I make sure my content is resonating with my buyer? So my buyer, let's say, is a BI analyst or a data analyst or a um, chief data officer. Am I speaking their language? So I, I'll write my uh, web page copy. I'll put it into ChatGPT and say, hey, does this resonate with my audience? And it will give me a clear cut. Yes, you have clear communication. You have highlighted these key points. This definitely are some of the pain points that this audience has. And then it will give me feedback on actions, right? Here, think about adding some more examples on X, Y, Z. And I'm like, okay, great. You are my assistant that I never had. And now you're making me more productive, more efficient in my day-to-day -day work. I've leveraged it similarly for competitive intelligence. Like I need to look at X competitor. I'm, I'm working on putting together the battle cards. Um, how do I make sure I'm representing the competition in the right way and I have the right data points to capture that information, right? So these are all, I use it as my testing ground in most of the thing. Like it's my other thinking chair, if you will that allows me to think about, am I covering all the ground? Similarly, I wanted to know where do these data analysts actually go read information or are there podcasts that they're part of? Are there conferences and events that they're part of? So that I can be there and actually learn from them firsthand, right? Um, these are all, I think, part of that equation. So we actually created a roles and responsibilities kind of a matrix, right? A simple version of a RACI. So we looked at who's responsible, who needs to be contributing and who needs to be informed. And the customer success team, as much as they're often thought of, oh, it's an afterthought, right? It's, a, oh, once the implementation is done or once the buying is done, that's when the conversation happens. This allows you to kind of break that and say, no, we're all part of the equation, product, marketing, sales, 
and customer success comes together to solve this. So this allowed us to actually open the conversation to a broader team. Awesome. 